The Book of Tobit, Chapter 6 Now as they went on their journey, they came at evening to the river Tigris, and they lodged there. But the young man went down to wash himself, and a fish leapt out of the river, and would have swallowed up the young man. But the angel said to him, Grab the fish. So the young man grabbed the fish and hauled it up onto the land. And the angel said to him, Cut the fish open, and take the heart, the liver, and the bile, and keep them with you. And the young man did as the angel commanded him. But they roasted the fish and ate it. And they both went on their way till they drew near to Ecbatana. The young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, of what use is the heart, the liver, and the bile of the fish? He said to him, About the heart and the liver? If a demon or an evil spirit troubles anyone, we must burn those and make smoke of them before the man or the woman, and the affliction will flee. But as for the bile, it is good to anoint a man that has white films in his eyes, and he will be healed. But when they drew near to Ragus, the angel said to the young, young man, Brother, today we will lodge with Raguel. He is your kinsman. He has an only daughter named Sarah. I will speak about her, that she should be given to you for a wife, for her inheritance belongs to you, and you only are of her kindred. The maid is fair and wise, and now hear me, and I will speak to her father. When we return from Ragus, we will celebrate the marriage, for I know that Raguel may in no way marry her to another according to the law of Moses, or else he would be liable to death, because it belongs to you to take the inheritance, rather than any other. Then the young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, I have heard that this maid has been given to seven men, and that they all perished in the bride chamber. Now I am the only son of my father, and I am afraid, lest I go in and die, even as those before me. For a demon loves her, which harms no man but those which come to her. Now I fear lest I die, and bring my father's and my mother's life to the grave with sorrow because of me. They have no other son to bury them. But the angel said to him, Don't you remember the words which your father commanded you, that you should take a wife of your own kindred? Now hear me, brother, for she will be your wife. Don't worry. But the angel said to him, Don't you remember the words which your father commanded you? that you should take a wife of your own kindred? Now hear me, brother, for she will be your wife. Don't worry about the demon, for this night she will be given you as wife. And when you come into the bride chamber, you shall take the ashes of incense, and shall lay upon them some of the heart and liver of the fish, and shall make smoke with them. The demon will smell it, and flee away, and never come again any more. But when you go near to her, both of you rise up and cry to God who is merciful. He will save you and have mercy on you. Don't be afraid, for she was prepared for you from the beginning, and you will save her, and she will go with you. And I suppose that you will have children with her. When Tobias heard these things, he loved her, and his soul was strongly joined to her. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 7 They came to Ecbatana, and arrived at the house of Raguel, but Sarah met them, and she greeted them, and they her. Then she brought them into the house. Raguel said to Edna his wife, This young man really resembles Tobit my cousin. And Raguel asked them, Where are you two from, kindred? They said to him, We are, the, we are of the sons of Naphtali. Who are captives in Nineveh. He said to them, Do you know Tobit our brother? They said, 
we know him. Then he said to them, Is he in good health? They said, He is both alive and in good health. Tobias said, He is my father. And Raguel sprang up and kissed him, wept, blessed him, and said to him, You are the son of an honest and good man. When he had heard that Tobit had lost his sight, he was grieved and wept. And Edna his wife and Sarah his daughter wept. They received them gladly, and they killed a ram of the flock and served them meat. But Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azarias, speak of those things of which you talked about in the way, and let the matter be finished. So he communicated the thing to Raguel. Raguel said to Tobias, Eat, drink, and make merry, for it belongs to you to take my child. However, I will tell you the truth. I have given my child to seven men of our relatives, and whenever they came in to her, they died in the night. But for the present, be merry. And Tobias said, I will taste nothing here until you all make a covenant and enter into that covenant with me. Raguel said, Take her to yourself from now on according to the custom. You are her relative, and she is yours. The merciful God will give all good success to you. And he called his daughter Sarah, and took her by the hand, and gave her to be wife of Tobias, and said, Behold, take her to yourself after the law of Moses, and lead her away to your father. And he blessed them. He called Edna his wife, then took a book, wrote a contract, and sealed it. Then they began to eat. And Raguel called his wife Edna, and said to her, Sister, prepare the other chamber, and bring her in there. She did as he asked her, and brought her in there. She wept, and she received the tears of her daughter, and said to her, Be comforted, my child. May the Lord of heaven and earth give you favor for this your sorrow. Be comforted, my daughter. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 8 When they had finished their supper, they brought Tobias in to her. But as he went, he remembered the words of Raphael, and took the ashes of the incense, and put the heart and the liver of the fish on them, and made smoke with them. When the demon smelled that smoke, it fled into the uppermost parts of Egypt, and the angel bound him. But after they were both shut in together, Tobias rose up from the bed and said, Sister, arise, and let's pray that the Lord may have mercy on us. And Tobias began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers, and blessed is your holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens bless you and all your creatures. You made Adam and gave him Eve his wife for a helper and support. From them came the seed of men. You said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let's make him a helper like him. And now, O Lord, I take not this my sister for lust, but in truth, command that I may find mercy and grow old with her. She said with him, Amen, and they both slept that night. Raguel arose and went and dug a grave, saying, Lest he also should die. And Raguel came into his house and said to Edna his wife, Send one of the mate." Send one of the maidservants, and let them see if he is alive. If not, we will bury him, and no man will know it. So the maidservant opened the door, and went in, and found them both sleeping, and came out, and told them that he was alive. Then Raguel blessed God, saying, Blessed are you, O God, with all pure and holy blessing. Let your saints bless you and all your creatures. Let all your angels and your elect bless you forever. Blessed are you, because you have made me glad, and it has not happened to me as I suspected, but you have dealt with us according to your great mercy. Blessed are you, because you have had mercy on two that were the only begotten children of their parents. Show them mercy, O Lord. Fulfill their life in health with gladness and mercy. He commanded his servants to fill the grave. 
He kept the wedding feast for them fourteen days. Before the days of the wedding feast were finished, Raguel swore to him that he should not depart till the fourteen days of the wedding feast were fulfilled, and that then he should take half of his goods and go in safety to his father. And the rest, said he, when my wife and I die. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 9 And Tobias called Raphael and said to him, Brother Azarias, take with you a servant and two camels, and go to Ragus of Media to Gabael, and receive the money for me, and bring him to the wedding feast, because Raguel has sworn that I must not depart. My father counts the days, and if I wait long, he will be very grieved. So Raphael went on his way, and lodged with Gabael, and gave him the handwriting. So he brought forth the bags with their seals, and gave them to him. Then they rose up early in the morning together, and came to the wedding feast. Tobias blessed his wife. To the book of Tobit, chapter 10. Tobit, his father, counted every day. When the days of the journey were expired, and they didn't come, he said, Is he perchance detained? Or is Gabael perchance dead, and there is no one to give him the money? He was very grieved. But his wife said to him, The child has perished, seeing he waits long. She began to bewail him, and said, I care about nothing, my child, since I have let you go the light of my eyes. Tobit said to her, Hold your peace. Don't worry. He is in good health. And she said to him, Hold your peace. Don't deceive me. My child has perished. And she went out every day into the way by which they went, and ate no bread in the daytime, and didn't stop bewailing her son Tobias for whole nights, until the fourteen days of the wedding feast were expired, which Raguel had sworn that he should spend there. Then Tobias said to Raguel, Send me away, for my father and my mother look no more to see me. But his father-in-law said to him, Stay with me, and I will send to your father, and they will declare to him how things go with you. Tobias said, No, send me away to my father. Raguel arose and gave him Sarah his wife, and half his goods, servants, and cattle, and money. And he blessed them, and sent them away, saying, the God of heaven will prosper you, my children, before I die. And he said to his daughter, Honor your father-in-law and your mother-in-law. They are now your parents. Let me hear a good report of you. Then he kissed her. Edna said to Tobias, May the Lord of heaven restore you, dear brother, and grant to me that I may see your children of my daughter Sarah, that I may rejoice before the Lord. Behold, I commit my daughter to you in special trust. Don't cause her grief. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 11 After these things Tobias also went his way, blessing God because he had prospered his journey. And he blessed Raguel and Edna his wife, then he went on his way until they drew near to Nineveh. Raphael said to Tobias, Don't you know, brother, how you left your father? Let's run forward before your wife and prepare the house. But take in your hand the bile of the fish. So they went their way, and the dog went after them. Anna sat looking around towards the path for her son. She saw him coming and said to his father, Behold, your son is coming with the man that went with him. Raphael said, I know, Tobias, that your father will open his eyes. Therefore anoint his eyes with the bile, and being pricked with it, he will rub, 
and will make the white films fall away. Then he will see you. Anna ran to him and fell upon the neck of her son and said to him, I have seen you, my child. I am ready to die. They wept both. Tobit went towards the door and stumbled. But his son ran to him and took hold of his father. He rubbed the bile on his father's eyes, saying, Cheer up, my father. When his eyes began to hurt, he rubbed them. Then the white films peeled away from the corners of his eyes, and he saw his son and fell upon his neck. He wept and said, Blessed are you, O God, and blessed is your name forever. Blessed are all your holy angels, for you scourged and had mercy on me. Behold, I see my son Tobias. And his son went in rejoicing and told his father the great things that had happened to him in Media. Tobit went out to meet his daughter-in-law at the gate of Nineveh, rejoicing and blessing God. Those who saw him go marveled because he had received his sight. Tobit gave thanks before them because God had shown mercy on him. When Tobit came near to Sarah, his daughter-in-law, he blessed her, saying, Welcome, daughter. Blessed is God who has brought you to us, and blessed are your father and your mother. And there was joy amongst all his kindred who were at Nineveh. Achiacharus and Naspus, his brother's son, came. Tobias' wedding feast was kept seven days with great gladness. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 12 And Tobit called his son Tobias and said to him, See, my child, that the man which went with you have his wages, and you must give him more. And he said to him, Father, it is no harm to me to give him the half of those things which I have brought, for he has led me for you in safety, and he cured my wife, and brought my money, and likewise cured you. The old man said, It is due to him. And he called the angel and said to him, Take half of all that you all have brought. Then he called them both privately and said to them, Bless God and give him thanks and magnify him and give him thanks in the sight of all that live for the things which he has done with you. It is good to bless God and exalt his name, showing forth with honor the works of God. Don't be slack to give him thanks. It is good to keep close the secret of a king, but to reveal gloriously the works of God. Do good and evil won't find you. Good is prayer with fasting, alms, and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with un unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. Alms delivers from death, and it purges away all sin. Those who give alms and do righteousness will be filled with life. But those who sin are enemies to their own life. Surely I will keep nothing closed from you. I have said, It is good to keep close the secret of a king, but to reveal gloriously the works of God. And now, when you prayed, and Sarah your daughter-in-law, I brought the memorial of your prayer before the Holy One. When you buried the dead, I was with you likewise. And when you didn't delay to rise up and leave your dinner, that you might go and cover the dead, your good deed was not hidden from me. I was with you. And now God sent me to heal you and Sarah your daughter-in-law. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints and go in before the glory of the Holy One. And they were both troubled and fell upon their faces, for they were afraid. 
And he said to them, Don't be afraid, you will all have peace, but bless God forever. For I came not of any favor of my own, but by the will of your God. Therefore bless him forever. All these days I appeared to you. I didn't eat or drink, but you all saw a vision. Now give God thanks, because I ascend to him who sent me. Write in a book all the things which have been done. Then they rose up and saw him no more. They confessed the great and wonderful works of God, and how the angel of the Lord had appeared to them. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 13 And Tobit wrote a prayer for rejoicing and said, Blessed is God who lives forever. Blessed is his kingdom. For he scourges and shows mercy. He leads down to the grave and brings up again. There is no one who will escape his hand. Give thanks to him before the Gentiles, all you children of Israel. For he has scattered us amongst them. Declare his greatness there. Extol him before all the living. Because he is our Lord and God is our Father forever. He will scourge us for our iniquities, and will again show mercy, and will gather us out of all the nations amongst whom you are all scattered. If you turn to him with your whole heart and with your whole soul to do truth before him, then he will turn to you and won't hide his face from you. See what he will do with you. Give him thanks with your whole mouth. Bless the Lord of Righteousness. Exalt the everlasting King. I give him thanks in the land of my captivity, and show his strength and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn, you sinners, and do righteousness before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? I exalt my God. My soul exalts the King of heaven and rejoices in his greatness. Let all men speak, and let them give him thanks in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, the holy city, he will scourge you for the works of your sons, and will again have mercy on the sons of the righteous. Give thanks to the Lord with goodness, and bless the everlasting King, that his tabernacle may be built in you again with joy, and that he may make glad in you those who are captives, and love in you forever those who are miserable. Many nations will come from afar to the name of the Lord God with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the King of Heaven. Generations of generations will praise you and sing songs of rejoicing. All those who hate you are cursed. All those who love you forever will be blessed. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for the sons of the righteous for they will be gathered together and will bless the Lord of the righteous. O blessed are those who love you. They will rejoice for your peace. Blessed are all those who mourned for all your scourges, because they will rejoice for you when they have seen all your glory. They will be made glad forever. Let my soul bless God, the great King, for Jerusalem will be built with sapphires, emeralds and precious stones, your walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. The streets of Jerusalem will be paved with beryl, carbuncle, and stones of Ophir. All her streets will say, Hallelujah, and give praise, saying, Blessed be God, who has exalted you forever. The Book of Tobit, Chapter 14 then Tobit finished giving thanks. He was 58 years old when he lost his sight. After eight years, he received it again. He gave alms and he feared the Lord God more and more and gave thanks to him. Now he grew very old and he called his son with the six sons of his son and said to him, My child, Take your sons. Behold, I have grown old, and am ready to depart out of this life. Go into Media, my child, for I surely believe all the things which Jonah the prophet spoke of Nineveh, that it will be overthrown. But in Media 
there will rather be peace for a season. Our kindred will be scattered in the earth from the good land. Jerusalem will be desolate, and the house of God in it will be burnt up, and will be desolate for a time. God will again have mercy on them, and bring them back into the land, and they will build the house, but not like to the former house, until the times of that age are fulfilled. Afterward they will return from the places of their captivity, and build up Jerusalem with honor. The house of God will be built in it forever with a glorious building, even as the prophets spoke concerning it. And all the nations will turn to fear the Lord God truly, and will bury their idols. All the nations will bless the Lord, and his people will give thanks to God, and the Lord will exalt his people. And all those who love the Lord God in truth and righteousness will rejoice, showing mercy to our kindred. And now, my child, depart from Nineveh, because those things which the prophet Jonah spoke will surely come to pass. But you must keep the law and the ordinances, and show yourself merciful and righteous, that it may be well with you. Bury me decently, and your mother with me. Don't stay at Nineveh. See, my child, what Ammon did to Achiacharus, who nourished him, how out of light he brought him into darkness and all the recompense that he made him. Achiacharus was saved, but the other had his recompense, and he went down into darkness. Manassas gave alms and escaped the snare of death which he set for him, but Ammon fell into the snare and perished. And now, my children, consider what alms does, and how righteousness delivers. While he was saying these things, he gave up the ghost in the bed. But he was 158 years old. Tobias buried him magnificently. When Anna died, he buried her with his father. But Tobias departed with his wife and his sons to Ecbatana to Raguel, his father-in-law. And he grew old in honor, and he buried his father-in-law and mother-in-law magnificently, and he inherited their possessions, and his father Tobits. He died at Ecbatana of Media, being 127 years old. Before he died, he heard of the destruction of Nineveh, which Nebuchadnezzar and Ahasuerus took captive. Before his death, he rejoiced over Nineveh.